My name is Angela. My name is Nicole. And welcome to the Ominous Stitch Podcast. Hello, Stitchers! Hey! Welcome to the Herringbone Stitch. Yes. Th this is going to serve as our only video for the two-part college series. So if you notice, it said colleges, part haunted colleges, part two. Part two. Part two. Yes. And we did the herringbone. The herringbone. Isn't that cool? We I thought like that was such a collegiate one. stitch. It's so thick. Mm -hmm. It makes a really great like. Um, Is it like a blanket more? Oh, no. You no, said like a, a like a. a like a pot holder. Pot holder. There we go. I can think of the word. <laughs> pot holder. Pot holder. Okay. I'm casting on. We're going with our infamous so J-hook. J-hook. And you might notice a lot of chip nail polish. Sorry eh. if that's a trigger. Whatever. <laughs> I'm a mom and I'm in the process of and moving. Farm. And I didn't have time to do my nails. So it's okay. that's okay. So you're going to chain any number you'd like plus two for your turning I chain. Like that. I know you that's don't easier. have to really count. You, you can, can just, just go as long as you want, as long as you want, however long you want to make it, however big you want to make it. Although I did. Can you do odd stitches on them? Yes. Okay. You can. I love it. You can do any number you want as long as you chain two at the end because okay. chain two is your turning chain. Got it. Always and forever in this stitch. Chain two is chain a turning two chain it, it is not does not count as a stitch but it is a turn got it so here we go Let's here we go so, oh now oh, i'm gonna do my two make it a short one yep i think i only did like 20 plus two so 22 yarn over and half double crochet in the third chain from the hook so i'm gonna count one two and let's do a half double crochet. Now you're going to notice I'm not going into the back humps. I'm just going into the top loop mm -hmm. because that makes it easier for this pattern. Good to know. So beware if you try to go in the back loops, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult to get into the pattern of this herringbone. Got it. So then you're going to do another half double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to start the herringbone pattern. So insert your hook into the previous chain and pull up a loop. This loop will wrap around and kind of so go form a little cocoon. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you're gonna go back, insert your hook mm -hmm. into that chain that you were just in for the first half double, and then you're gonna yarn over and do a half double crochet in the next available chain. You're gonna do a traditional half double crochet, even though you will have four loops on your hook That's when you do it. That's what confused me when we yeah. first did this. So it's four loops, even though just do your Even half. though it's a half double crochet, okay. you just have that extra loop on there. That's right. From the yarn over behind the the previous herringbone that you did and that's it that's all there is to this herringbone that's so stitch nice. yeah so you're just going to keep working back and forth you're going to insert your hook into the previous stitch pull up a loop and then you're going to go into that next available stitch mm -hmm. and do a half double crochet so easy and what that reaching behind does is it makes like a cross mm -hmm. over the post of the half double crochet that you did before. And that's what creates that herringbone pattern. Oh, love it. So because you're working this in rows and you're flipping back and forth, mm -hmm. that slant that's coming across uh, the stitch right. trades places and it creates that herringbone that pattern. So, cool. so you'll see that when we do the next. Love it. The next um, so you're inserting row. and then insert where I think we're doing the half double crochet right here. And it's going to have four loops because of that extra yarn over that we did. Look at that. The extra loop that we and pulled just up. Continue. That's it. Continue the herringbone stitch I'm to the end of the totally row. Totally doing this after my millions of other projects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I like this one. It's a thick one. It's really oh, chunky. Like it's nice and thick. So for cold weather, this is good. Cold for, for thick, weather. Thick blankets Super for cold thick weather. blanket. Or yeah. I, I thought of like a scarf. It looks like a nice scarf. It would make right? a nice scarf or like a headband. Ooh, yes. Headband. That's right. Yeah. Or an ear warmer. Mm -hmm. You know, that would be cool too. Keep your hair out. I like yeah. Yeah. So, cause it's thick, it's gotta be super warm. Uh -huh. So I haven't, you know, you guys tell us what you're going to do with your herringbone, cro herringbone stitch pattern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let us know at the ominous stitch dot com so, sorry let me say that again <laughs> i should know our email address we just do it all the time and then we forget <laughs> it's kind of funny. the ominous stitch at gmail.com gmail there it is that's our email address that's right so please hit us up on our email let mm -hmm. us know what you think would be cool to do with this herringbone stitch share with us any other ideas that you might have for us as we continue to create and any ideas for the podcast that you might have for us please 
So this went along with our collegiate series. We did a two part. We two did part. eight schools. So many schools are haunted. Yes. And this that's not even anywhere scratching the surface no. of all the haunted schools. It's just there's a theme that uh, the ones that I chose, a lot of them have um, like past ties to asylums. Or, <gasps> they do. Um, there's a couple that are asylums. There's a couple that were kind of connected to World War II. Well, just one really. Mm -hmm. One connected to Gettysburg. Yeah. Uh, Gettysburg, so war. So anything that has like a building that has some serious history to it there's probably going to be it's going to hold some spirits yeah. in it yeah my favorite one yeah, and i got favorite? so many goosebumps when we talked about the haunted theater in alaska the one that has no history no history <laughs> that's i think what got me so much but i've never had that much reaction she was to any in stories mm. i was i had chills all over me i could like just feel the energy coursing through yeah. me on that one there's that a one youtube really video cool. of um the the stage manager that's been there forever created a youtube video on halloween a few years ago where he takes you on a tour and interviews people with their haunted stories of that theater and it's so cool yeah <gasps> i'll I, have to watch it yeah i, I haven't I, seen it yet i kind of listed a couple in the podcast but um for the full full video go go check it out it's so neat that's way cool i'm excited i want to check that out and I, we have a tie. I think kind of what prompted this whole idea with the colleges is that we do have a tie to a local university. That's right. Yes. So Cal California State University, Channel Islands, mm -hmm. right? Yep, that's right. Cal State UCI. Cal State UCI, or as I call it, Sea Sucky. Other people call it Sea Sushi. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, Sea Sushi. Looks like I'm coming to the end here. Oh. Oh, yep. I think that might be my last one. Okay. Yep, there that's it. Go. And now we're going to chain two chain and two. turn. Look how pretty it is already. So, I know, isn't it pretty? It it's such a like pretty a stitch. Bookmark almost. It does. It would be a cool do, bookmark, yeah. except for it's pretty thick. Yeah. Maybe if you did it with like floss or something, Ooh, it might be a yeah. good bookmark. Thinner yarn. So that chain two does not count as a stitch. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to half double crochet into that first stitch. You're also going to half double crochet into that second stitch, oh, and that's going to set up your herringbone. I see, I see. So here's a half double crochet. And then... And then you're going to do it again. In the second one that's right next to it, right? Yep, yeah, in the second one. We don't Got skip it. stitches here. That's right. No skipping stitches. Skip it. And now we're going to start the half double crochet, or the herringbone pattern by so no, inserting the, the hook one. into the previous... Got it. Yep, into the previous stitch pull up a loop and then do continue on with your half double crochet in the next available stitch. That's a herringbone. Easy. You're going to do that all the way down again. I love it. I want to do this one. Yes. It's on so, my list. Cal State Channel Islands. Mm -hmm. That was a, a old asylum. It was an old asylum. Hotel California. Although <laughs> technically it's not really Hotel they California, but not. everybody says it but, is. Yeah, exactly. It's that legend. That's the local legend. Yeah. It's Hotel California. But it was an asylum. Yes. It's pretty close to where we live. Um, and I've had students who have had siblings that oh, were in the first right. class. Oh, it's so crazy. There. And they've experienced all kinds of crazy things right. there. And Charlie Parker is supposed to haunt that place. So I want to I go. know. That's so cool. I some saxophone. Right? That is so cool. I think my the one that got me the most when we were going doing my research was um, Gettysburg College. Oh yeah, because of of the war. There's I know that Gettysburg itself has so much so much sp history. Yeah, and sp spookiness. Yeah, but that college. I want to. Is that the one with the elevator? Yes. Oh. the one that goes to the basement and it opens up on a crazy horror scene yeah it it's a time portal yes it takes you back in time into the 1800s and then you see the doctors the doctors working, working on, on yeah, yeah and it's happened twice twice not once but twice that is insane yeah what was the magic year was it 2014 <laughs> that a lot of things happened in 2014. I think that's what we said. I don't remember exactly. But yeah, 2014 does ring a bell where just a lot of spookiness happens. I don't know what's yeah, special a lot about of, that. I year. don't know. Yep. Was... Yep. I even I'm going through this in uh -huh. my notes and it says this was in 2014 when the football player saw the ghost. Yeah. Like he watched his video. Uh -huh. and the spirit entered through him. 
Yes, that's yeah. right. That's right. That's so crazy. Yeah. You saw the, the spirit fly out of him in the video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is so creepy. <laughs> We're giving ourselves chills with this. And then Heidelberg University. Heidelberg. Ugh. I have an attachment to Heidelberg because I, I went there. I've been there a couple times, but I did go to school. Uh, I did a summer program there with the university that I attended. I went to that's Pepperdine right. University and Pepperdine has a, a house called Morehouse which is haunted That's as so well. Cool. I didn't see the ghost. I don't know what the history is with the ghost because mm -hmm. uh, I did a summer program and so they didn't tell That's us right. or go into the detail. It's short, yeah. So any of you Pepperdine alum that have stayed at Morehouse, you might know more of the detail. Please email me and ah. let me know because I want to know more about the ghost. But I did feel their presence. That is so creepy. I totally huh? felt them. And there were a couple times where I was like, oh, okay. Oh, at the end of the row. Oh, chain two and turn. Hey. That's all we're doing here. Then we're going to do the pattern again. You always start the pattern. Remember that chain two does not count as a stitch. And you always start each row with two half double crochets so that you can go back after the second half double crochet and begin the herringbone there. So I actually, let me do a bonus content when <gasps> we do this. Yes. Because I totally didn't... Um, go into the University of Northern Colorado. <gasps> Would you like to hear a quick story? Yes, about there? quick story. Okay, so Northern Colorado is in Greeley, Colorado, right? Mm -hmm. But it's ranked seventh out of the fifty of the most haunted universities. Oh my gosh! Right. Um, so there's a bunch of paranormal accounts. The the biggest one. Oh no! This was the coolest thing. There you have a library archives entitled "Ghosts on Campus" <gasps> and lists clippings and ghosts seen at the UNC that has been compiled prior to 1992. Oh, that is awesome! I tried to access it, but uh -huh. you have to be on campus. Oh, yeah. Isn't that crazy? We need to go. Yeah, more, more trips. I love more Colorado. I, I Colorado is gorgeous. Yeah. My I'm, sister lives in the Denver area, and I have an uncle that also lives in the Denver area. So, cool. yeah, I, oh, we should go. We have places to it's stay. Beautiful there. <laughs> I, I love that it's situated, like, it's got four seasons almost, and it's in the mm -hmm. mountains. It's not on the water. That's the only, like, on There's my a, list. a gajillion lakes, Exactly. Yeah. It's not an ocean, but, yeah. But I would love to go. It would be so pretty. It's so pretty. I love um, Colorado. But yeah, the dorms are haunted, apparently. And there's there's a ghost called Edith, apparently, walking Edith. around. Yeah. Um, she apparent this was the legend. She apparently hanged herself in the attic of the <gasps> oh, dorm. Oh, no, Edith. Yeah. Don't do that. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of, like, the, hall, the all the dorms have spooky incidences. And, um, oh, the creepiest one is the resident, um, the, like, the head of the residency halls. Yeah. He was walking down one of the dorms mm -hmm. and doing inventory. And then all of a sudden, each door started um, slamming in quick succession. Oh, no. He opened them all up to do uh -huh. like, He's like, I'm going to do, do this, this really inspection. fast. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to open them all up first, turn around, and go through them. But they kept slamming behind him in succession. <gasps> and there's oh, no, that's crazy. no windows. Uh -huh. Because oh. it's an old building, so all the windows are like sealed shut. Oh no! So there's no wind. So that was the creepiest story. That I found. is creepy. That's a good one. Yeah, but yeah, that was a that was a creepy creepy college as well. So check check out UNC uh, if you want to look at some more haunted stories. Yeah. Okay. It looks like I'm at the end of the row here, and I think I'll show you. I think that's all I did. I think it just did three rows for this example. But it's such it's a so cool, cool pattern. Look, look at, at that. that. Yeah. Do you see the herringbone? Yes, it's so neat forth. going back and forth. And it's thick. I like that. So reach out to us on all of our social media. Please. Email us at theominousstitch at gmail.com. And we will see you, Stitchers. Please like and subscribe. Yes. Uh.